my channel my name is Tiffany and if you've never seen my face before I just told you what my name is anyway so for today's video we are going to be doing an everyday makeup routine I'm just gonna be taking you guys step by step through what I do when I do my makeup and what products I use so without further ado we're just gonna get right on into this but if you have not seen my most recent video which is a what's on my iPhone video you guys should totally go check that out I'll have the link down below and it will also be popping up on the screen so definitely watch that after this video and subscribe if you're not already anyways let's just get on into this okay so first before I start my makeup I always use my toner and then I moisturize just so that I have a clean good surface to start my makeup with so this is what I use to tone my skin it is just the vitamin C Beauty Seaweed Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Facial Toner and then I just put that on a cotton pad and rub that all over my face to tone and get any dirt and stuff off my face before getting into my makeup. Okay, so my face looks a little red right now because it always just gets like pink when I touch it because I have super sensitive skin. But the next step is I put a serum on my skin. So the serum that I use is the Vitamin C Beauty Dead Sea Minerals and Vitamin C. It's a complex toning skin serum. So I use this to help give my makeup a super natural glowy look when I do it. And I think it honestly helps so, so much. And then the next step is going to be to moisturize my skin. So the moisturizer that I use is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I have pretty dry skin most of the time, so I like to use this because it's thicker and it's just way more moisturizing than a regular lotion. And I just really like this one overall. Okay, so now that we have done that, it is time to get into the actual makeup part of this video. Okay, so the first step of my makeup routine, I just use a tinted moisturizer. I personally don't like using foundation. I just find foundation to be a little bit too thick and too full coverage for my personal liking, so I just use a tinted moisturizer. And the one that I use is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I really love this stuff and it's honestly really affordable. So if you're looking for a good tinted moisturizer, definitely get this one because like I said, it's really affordable and I honestly really love it. Okay, so I look kind of crazy when I put it on, but I basically just put some lines all over my skin and then I will just take a wet beauty blender and blend it all out. Okay, so after putting on the tinted moisturizer, I kind of look a little crazy, but anyways, after that, I use my my concealer and the one I use is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I really like this. As you'll be able to tell in this video, I really like ColourPop makeup, but it's really affordable and it's really good quality, so I personally just love it. But I will just take my concealer and I'll just put a little bit right here and right here on my under eyes. I don't use too, too much, and normally I don't put it anywhere else unless I have like a pimple that I wanna cover but normally I will just put it under my eyes and blend it out again with my beauty blender. Okay, so after applying my concealer, I will go in with the Airspun Loose Face Powder and I have the translucent color and I only put this underneath my eyes. I don't put it anywhere else because I personally, like I said at the beginning of the video, like my makeup to look more natural and glowy and if I put powder all over my face, it's gonna look super matte. So I only put it under my eyes just to prevent creasing in my concealer because obviously we don't want that. <laughs> Do you guys like my Christmas cup? I love Christmas. Okay, so after putting the powder underneath my eyes, I will go in with blush and I use a liquid blush. So the one that I use is the Ulta Beauty Stay Cheeky Liquid Blush in the shade Preppy Peach. I really love this stuff. It honestly looks so good to me. It looks really natural, but gives your face some color and I love it. Put a dot on my finger and then I'm gonna take it and put it on the like upper portion of my cheek, I guess. Okay, so this is where I put it. And then I just use the bottom of my beauty blender to blend it out so that it's not a harsh line. It just blends it out really beautifully and gives you like a natural pinky tone to your skin. I literally love this stuff. Like I literally love this stuff. <laughs> okay, if you hear that noise, there is a guy outside of my place, uh, lawn mowing so ignore that but anyways okay so next after my blush I will go ahead and go in with some bronzer so the bronzer that I use is the revolution makeup mega bronzer in 01 cool 
So I will just go in with this and then I will use this Real Techniques square foundation brush and I just put some on the bottom of this brush and then I will take it and put a line and then I also do it on my jawline and then I will also take it and put it on my forehead and blend all of these lines in so that they don't look like lines anymore <laughs> okay and then I forgot earlier but I do also take my uh, bronzer and I kind of contour my nose a little bit because I don't like my nose and how I do it is I just put two straight lines down the bridge of my nose and then I kind of just connect it at the bottom and then in the middle and then I'm just gonna blend that out with like a small fluffy brush okay so so the next thing I'm gonna be doing is my eyebrows. 90% of the time I do this before I use bronzer and then the other 10% of the time I forget to do it until after I use bronzer. The ColourPop Brow Boss and I use that in the shade Brunette. And then because I do not trust myself enough and I make a lot of mistakes, <laughs> a little bit of my tinted moisturizer on this small e.l.f. brush and just outline my eyebrows so that they look super clean. And then as you just saw, I just use my beauty blender to gently blend that in. And then I will go in with the e.l.f. Uh, clear brow and lash gel and just lightly do this on my eyebrows to kind of hold them in place okay so the next step is gonna be mascara so first I just go in and curl my eyelashes with this elf eyelash curler and then I use two different mascaras so the first one I use is just the L'Oreal Paris telescopic mascara so I'll do a thin layer of this and then I'll go in with a thin layer of the Maybelline New York the colossal volume express mascara and then I'll go in with another thin layer of the telescopic mascara okay also another thing is I personally don't wear mascara on my lower lashes for some reason I just don't like the way it looks okay so the next step is going to be highlighter so the highlighter that I use is the ColourPop super shock cheek pearlized highlighter and I use this shade lunch money so I'm gonna take my ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist and spray this onto my highlighter so I'm gonna go in with the highlighter and this elf lip defining brush and I just use this under the arch of my eyebrow as you can see there in the inner corners of my eyes and then also on my nose and then for the highlighter on my cheek upper whatever you want to call it I use this like angled brush and I just tap it in there and then I just gently tap it on my cheek all right so the next step which is almost the last step is my lips so I use this NYX lip pencil in the shade mauve and i just take this and line my lip then i'm gonna go in with the nyx butter gloss and i use the shade creme brulee and i just put this um on like the more inner part of my lips and then kind of rub it in throughout okay and then the next step is going to be just spraying my face with a setting spray the one i use is the color pop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist i really love this stuff and again as you can tell from this whole video i love color pop so Okay, so then the last step is gonna be recurling my eyelashes. I already did it to this one, but my eyelashes don't stay curled whatsoever when I put mascara on them. So I will very, very gently go in with my eyelash curler again and very, very gently pump it a little and then just hold for like 15 seconds. Again, very gently. And it leaves them curled and pretty, so yeah. Okay guys, so that is all for my makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. I post every Sunday and Wednesday at noon Alaska time. So subscribe if you are not already to see more videos from me every week and leave any comments down below with any video requests you guys have so I can do those for you. And with that being said, I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Okay. For today's video, we're gonna be. I totally just kicked the camera. Book. Okay. Tinted moisturizer. Shoe. To be too bit too big. What? Translucent. What? Can I speak? Can I speak? Coffee time. I need coffee, guys. I'm struggling to talk right now, bro. Twinted. Twinted. Uh. What is this called? Mother trucker. That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick.